you know, can you just tell us your, your first memory of meeting Static and, you know, more specifically his, his group player? Oh, man. Going gears back. I met Static in, uh, way, you know, ways from. We went there on, on, on a tour. Jodeci went on tour, and this group came backstage, sung for me, and I liked them ever since then, way back then. Then I went back to Jersey to make a long story short. And they called me every day until I eventually, you know, got them in Jersey where, you know, I had missing everybody else. But as far as static them, like we used to, you know, talk on the fall time with his group and they used to sing for me for the longest and you know, we basically met the backstage of the Jonesy show in Kentucky. Yeah. Okay, cool. And uh, you know, what type of, of uh potential did you see in static, you know, from the start? You know, he was all in the basement, he was singing and, and also rapping, you know, what did you see in him? But when Static just had this certain swag with him, like, you know, you always can tell when somebody got it. He was one of those persons that had, you know, it factor, but, you know, his swag was on point. It's just a, he was witty with his words, you know, and he didn't start off rapping. You know, I told him he should have started rapping because he's just a witty little dude with his words. He's like, you know, he's just like, he just had the, the, the it factor, whatever that is. Yeah. Okay. People that's around Static, they all felt the energy from Static. Like, you know, if you was around him, like, you know, he had, he just had all kinds of talents. You know, he can whistle like ad libs. People sing riffs like Whitney, he can whistle riffs. You know, and like a lot of people can't do that. It's hard to do. You might can sing, but a lot of people can't whistle. Yeah. And like, you know, he just, anything he do, he did, he just put little, you know, things into it. Yeah. Cool. And, um, you know, we noticed you and Static were featured together often in songs and videos. You know, what, what were your plans for Static Major? My plan was like, that it was like, we like Batman and Robin, like Static held me down, like, you know, yeah. like going to where I usually take Static with me, because that's my little, that's my, mm -hmm. you know, it was, you know, we just, we just vibed off each other, like, like music chords, stuff, whatever else, you know, Static was a singer, and I was a player, so it just, it made sense. Yeah. Okay, cool. And, um, you know, is there a specific memory that maybe sticks out to you that you can share with us that no one would know about that you have of uh, with Static? Oh man, I got millions of memories, but everybody probably know about our memories because we had a whole camp of people. We all lived together, so it's like yeah. <laughs> it ain't like like it's all like it's just so many. Like I have to sit for an hour and think about what's the best one to tell you about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're all good memories. It's like, it was like family. It's like growing up with your brother, your old sister. If you have one, it's like so many good memories. It's like, it's like, you know. Yeah. Okay. Um. So I, I want to ask you about a song called "Drawers" that you did with Static. Um, I think it was after you met up with him uh -huh. years later. You familiar with the song? Mm -hmm. Um. You know, how did that song yeah, come about? Uh, <laughs> Uh, Static came to the studio out here in that, where I am in, in L.A. And, and we just sat back, we freestyle. He came and saw me and then we freestyle. He just came to check on me and see how I was doing. We freestyling. And actually, I went to a Marion studio when he's worked with a Marion. And I went there and this was a Marion, I guess, first solo album we came out. And Static came back over to my spot and we messing around. We did like two tracks. And, you know, it, it was like the same Static. We just, you know, fell back in the same vibe, like, you know. Yeah, we just bounce off ideas, and, you know. Static, he like I say, he's a little witty, little dude, you know. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, a lot of us know Static, you know, as just the artist, but you know, you were able to actually know Stephen Ellis Garrett, you know, for the years you've known him. You know, um, what, what, what can you tell us about about Stephen that that some of us fans might not know who have never met him? Someone, if somebody can tell you about Stephen. Versus Static, his real self, Stephen Garrett. Yep. Uh, Stephen Garrett is a nice, a uh, right person. That's what I can tell you. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's he's a person that's, that's a real person. Like you don't meet too many real people, and, and this is on the same time. He's he's, he's a good friend. He's, you know. Yep. Okay. Hey, Daimu, did you have a question you wanted to ask? I just wanted to ask him, you know, um, with uh, you helping to craft a lot of uh, what Static brought to the game, um, what would you like to see done um, to help carry on his legacy, uh, you know, in, throughout the music business and even throughout the whole world? Well, I think, you know, they should have, 
I mean, if it's some kind of thing where they do, you know, for, for people that's been in this game and contributed something that's not here anymore, like they have award shows, maybe they should have some kind of thing like that where we don't forget people like him or, you know, the things not because there's a lot of great people that's, that's great, there's a lot of people that's came and gone, but it's only special people. He's one of the special few people, static here. That you know that's got that's got something else. So you know people should recognize all the great he's done, and and that's whether you publish something, whether you put out a book, or whatever you want to twist it. It's like you know we have you have to keep it going as people, his people. Okay, okay, because I got to tell you, Devonte, man, a lot of people love what you've done with. First of all, with Jodeci, uh, with the basement, that whole sound that you created and that you just birthed, and um. Uh, a lot of the fans would like to know, you know, what was what was like a day in the life of Static in the basement? What were a lot of his responsibilities and what were a lot of things that you expected from him as an artist? Um, you know, while, while you guys were together collaborating and doing your thing. Static, static responsibility was to bring his, his swag to his, his little, little area. Everybody had their little areas, but then Static had overall responsibility, right? And make others decide, you know, as well as in the camp. Because I had main writers in the camp. And Static was one of the main writers. It was him and Missy and, and me, really, that was the writers of the camp. You know, so Static's main thing was, you know, if I had some slick, some I needed to roll to Static, that's his department. And see, he had a certain swag. Like I said, it was me, him, and Missy, the main writers. So, you know, if you wanted something hot, you either go to Missy for the girls. Or either they could write for either girls or girls. Or you go to Static. Static was me. That's what I that was yeah. his, his main thing in the camera was to write. Then he wanted, you know, you know, he came to be an artist. Then he learned to write, you know, the same route he did. He was an artist just thinking, you know, how I first, when I first met him, just singing songs. And then uh, eventually he grew around like he did. He always had his own swag, you know, his own little thing that made him him that stuck out. But I just took that, just, you know, kind of rounded off the sharp edges, smoothed it out. Okay, okay. Um, Now, from static. Uh, in player back in 92 all the way up to static major um, uh, to now um, what what was uh, what was your favorite track that static did or a few tracks that you can name or that you could think of that you really liked that came from him we talk about all overall like all or just static in, in general it, it, it could be all the songs you spoke of uh, anything that Static had to do with what, what was the track that stood out to you that you was like, yeah, man, that that's that stuff right there. Try again. That's my favorite Static track. What is it? Try again. The one he wrote for Aaliyah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that was right. That was. But right. yeah. I mean that that song was like you know, oh no, it was just a touch of song. Hey, I, I, I like so anxious too. Just let me add that. Oh, that was the oh, stuff, yeah. wasn't it, man? Yeah, so anxious aside, man, I like a lot of shit he wrote for genuine. So you know, it's, you know, that it got hits after hit. Yep. Okay. And uh, just so you know, uh, Devonte, we have uh, Static's mom on the line as well. Sure do. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, you hey, remember at BET too? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, it was wild, good times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how, you, how you doing? You know, you, you know I love Static. Yes, sir, I do. You the man that put him in the music business, and I appreciate it. I love Static. I love him. Yeah, I came up to Rochester and, and got the group one time. Uh, that's where you had them all housed at, the basement. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He used to he that used to tell me days. Yep, those were good old days. He used to tell me how Joe to see how how they would stack that sound. You know, I don't know if everybody knows how to do that on the computer or however it's done, but um, you know, you don't have that type of tight harmony no more. You all would find that inner niche and that's that's what Steve always would try to do would be to find that inner niche pitch. You know, to make that that harmony tight. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he had a great ear. He had a great ear. Yeah, cool. He had a great ear. Hey, uh, Daimu, do we, I, we know Devante's uh, pretty busy. You want, you want to have any last question or? 
before we let them go? Um, I, I just want to let them know, you know, we, we appreciate all that you've done, Devante, uh, musically, personally, man. You're a great artist. We all think you're a musical genius, and we thank you so much for taking this time out to celebrate Static's legacy. Uh, I want to say thank you to your manager as well, man. You, you guys showed us nothing but much love, and uh, we don't take it lightly at all. Appreciate it, man. I got I got to save some questions for the next anniversary. That's why I can't tell you all all the questions. <laughs> all the questions.